If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. So anyone teaching you anything contrary to what the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone have taught us, okay, if you have somebody talking about the earth is flat, if you have somebody talking about the apocrypha is not a part of the Bible, if you have somebody talking about Edomites can be saved, or uh, the so-called white man ain't Esau, okay? You got people out there talking about reincarnations not in the Bible, okay? Let them be cursed, man. Because that's not the doctrine that was given to you through the man who was set up by the Heavenly Father, man. And really, you hate us, man. Starting with our elder apostles. You hate us. You want to see us killed out here. You want to see us removed off these streets. You want to see us fired from our jobs? You want to see us uh, evicted from our homes, man? You want to see us out here homeless, living as bums? Just so you can say, ha ha, I knew you was wrong, man. Because our hope is in Yahweh by some of y'all shy, but you people truly put your faith in the fact that you think that we wrong, man. And you start pushing out other doctrines that are not according to what you were taught, nor are they in the Bible, man, okay? As we said before, so I say now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? Or if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of my Shayak. So we don't come out here speaking to please you people. Because see, if I come out here speaking to please you, I'm not a servant of Yahweh Shai. I'm a servant of my own belly because then that's showing you that I'm trying to look good in the eyes of the masses for my own vain reputation, man. Fuck all that, man. We coming out here telling you the truth. You so-called white people are going into slavery soon and your society is soon to collapse, okay? The Negro, Latino, and Native American through our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to see the downfall of you damn devils. All you heathens, okay? Anyone who teaches outside uh, the nation of Israel, who teaches outside of the doctrine, all right, you're cursed. And the Heavenly Father has you as a marked man, okay? All you scoffers out there, all you people who think we're teaching nonsense, may your life be destroyed and may vanity be your recompense, okay? Corinthians 1 and 26. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. So to be called into this truth, consider yourself blessed. You should see that as an honor, man. Because out of all the people in this world, the Lord could have chose all these celebrities out here. He could have chose the best rappers, the best actresses, actors. He could have chose the best models, okay? He could have chose the most famous, the most uh, wealthy. But no, a lot of times the Lord is just calling regular guys, man. That is a blessing. It's a, bless it's a blessing that we have not received our consolation. It's a blessing because we are going to receive everything we didn't have or the things that we lost a hundredfold in the kingdom. That's an abundant amount, okay? For you see your calling, brethren, how there are not many wise men after the flesh. So the Lord isn't calling you into this truth based off of you having a scholarship, you having some college degree, you graduating with a 4.0, okay? Not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. You have brothers in this truth 
who really don't even have, as you will call, proper education. There's brothers in this troop who dropped out of high school, got their GED, or they dropped out of high school with no diploma or GED. But the Lord blessed them with the knowledge of the Bible, man. Okay? Because why? May the words of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai be exalted. May his power be shown through the, uh, through the, through the humble, through the uh, ones who work in humility. Okay? That's how great our Lord is, man. He don't need someone in power to exalt his name. He can use an average guy like myself and other men to push his gospel. Okay? But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Okay? You can be a so-called college graduate. Okay? You could have went to a theologian school. And you still get condemned. You still get confounded. You still get sliced up by the men of the Lord who were given this truth. Okay? And we're just basic men. And a lot of you people, you're expecting something, uh, you know, something to please you, something fancy. Let's see if I can find this verse, Lord's will. This is Amos 7 and 14. You know, backing up what I was just reading. Because a lot of you, you expect us to be, uh, you know, all highly qualified according to this world. You expect us to have the, the suit and the tie, which is nothing but a obelisk or a penis around your neck. You expect us to have lined up beards and no beards at all. You expect us to have the greatest jobs, which some of us have decent jobs, so what? But we don't put our heart into it, okay? But nevertheless, the Lord called the foolish of this world primarily to confound the wise. And Amos is a good example. So this is Amos 7 and 14. Matter of fact, this is uh, verse 12. Also Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, go flee thee away into the land of Judah, and there eat bread and prophesy them. But prophesy not again any more at Bethel. For it is the king's chapel, and it is the king's court. Then answered Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son. But I was a herdsman, I was a herdman, and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. So that shows you right there. Amos was just a plain, normal guy, just like a lot of us, man. There was nothing spectacular about Amos's job history or his job description. He was a normal guy. It's not like his dad was a prophet and his dad passed down the torch. The Lord calls normal guys, man. Guys like myself and many other men who have hobbies just like any other person. Who, uh, who get happy, sad, who cry, who uh, have families just like any other person. Okay? But the Lord is dealing with the humble. He's dealing with those who are just average Jake. The Lord's going to wake up a lot of these celebrities too. Well, not a lot of them, but the Lord's going to wake up celebrities too to show his, his power, man. But primarily, he's dealing with normal guys, man. Okay? Just as Amos was. Then answered Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son. But I was a herdman, a gatherer of sycamore fruit, a gatherer of sycamore fruit. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And the Lord said unto me, Go prophesy unto my people Israel. And that's exactly what happened with us, man. The Lord took us, being normal guys, and said, Look, learn this knowledge. Get your asses out there and teach my people Israel the truth, man. Teach them that they need to come back to their nationality. Teach them.
at this time, the Lord is waking up prophets, many different men from around the world to come into this truth. So we can uh, push this word throughout the whole world, man. And through us pushing the gospel, it's going to do what? Bring the end, okay? And as I just read, Amos being a normal man, me and many other men will be this truth, but just normal men. But don't let that be the deception to why you shouldn't listen, okay? Because the Lord, he, he woke us up, he called us into this truth, but nevertheless, we were the prophets of old, and we believe that through faith. Because why? We're doing the same things that the prophets were doing, and this is our passion. When we don't do this, it don't feel right, man. It's like you're missing a huge chunk of your life, okay? So with that kind of feeling, with that kind of spirit, it's a good, uh, uh, it's a good thing to keep in mind that you're most likely one of the men of old who are out here prophesying just as Amos was, okay? Matthews 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So the Lord's not going to bring any kind of judgment or any kind of deliverance until the gospel to our people has been promoted throughout the whole earth, man. Because the scriptures, it tells us to come out here and to prophesy unto every creature in the book of Mark. Okay? So as we're coming out here and doing this job, through this message, through this, through this wisdom being promoted throughout the earth, this kingdom's fallen, man. And a lot of these people they can see that things aren't right. Something is changing, but they don't understand where it's coming from, okay? Now, this message has been pushed around for a long time and nothing's happened. So that's why the Lord now in these last days is actually making moves. He's doing things that he wasn't doing back then, okay? Because now we're a step closer to the appearance of the one you call Jesus Christ. So Matthews 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. And that's how you know the end is coming. Because this gospel or this message is being pushed throughout the earth. And because of this gospel being pushed throughout the earth, we know that we're in the end. You can measure the times. This is the book of 2 Ezra. Starting chapter chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's what's happening right now. The Lord is visiting this earth. All sorts of things are happening all throughout the world. Many different plagues are happening. You have uproars of the people happening. Okay, you got a famine uh, that's soon to come here to America. And now that Trump's in office, there's a good chance that he may require you people over time to take that RFID chip or something known as the mark of the beast. Okay? Because see, in these last days, these are just uh, part of the things that just have to happen. It's written in the book. And since it's written in the book, it's just being played out. It's no different than a movie role that if a producer or whoever has any inspiration of the film and how that film is played out from beginning to end, everything happens accordingly. So the Heavenly Father, this being his movie, he has everything played out accordingly to how he wants it to be played out. All right, so with that, I'm going to close out this lesson. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Ba, show me I was shy. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you true sincere brethren out there pushing out this purified truth, cleansing this wicked, defiled kingdom with the word, and to the rest of the church who believe the water, which means thank you in the Hebrew, to Yahweh Shai, because without him, none of this would even be possible. And until next time, Shalom.